Michael O'Connor Rugby Union. Michael David O'Connor, born 30 November 1960, is an Australian former rugby league and rugby union footballer who represented Australia in both codes. He played for the Wallabies in 13 tests from 1979 to 1982 and then the Kangaroos in 17 tests from 1985 to 1990. O'Connor played club football in the NSW URL Premiership for the Street George Dragons from 1983 until 1986 and later the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles from 1987 until his retirement at the end of 1992, becoming captain of Manly in 1990, as well as winning the 1987 Winfield Cup with the Sea Eagles. Rugby Union Originally from Canberra, he toured with the undefeated Australian Rugby Union Schoolboys Tour of Europe and Japan in 1977-78 alongside the likes of the Ello Brothers Mark, Glenn and Gary, as well as Queenslanders Wally Lewis and Chris Roch. His club rugby career was with the Canberra Royals and then Brisbane Club, Teachers Notes. He was first selected for the Wallabies in 1979. With a number of those players, he was a young starter in the 1980 Wallaby side which won the Bledisloe Cup in Sydney in the third and deciding game that year. O'Connor scored a try in this game marking his ascendancy in representative rugby and coinciding with the rebirth of Australian rugby in the beginning of a golden period through to the Grand Slam achievement of 1984. He made 13 Wallaby appearances at centre up till the July 1982 test against Scotland. St George 1983-86 O'Connor switched to rugby league signing with New South Wales Rugby Football League Premiership side St George in 1983. He made his first grade debut from the bench for the Dragons in round 3 of the 1983 season against Western Suburbs at Cogger Oval scoring a try on debut. O'Connor, who would go on to be a goal kicker of note and would notch up almost 1,500 points in his club and representative career, did not kick a goal for a street George during his first two seasons at the club, with coach Roy Masters preferring Steve Kieran and Steve Rogers in the role and Mike O'Connor, who was one of the newest style around the corner kickers, Kieran and Rogers were both front-on kickers which often led to less accuracy. Following their departure from the club after 1984 where O'Connor and 24 test veteran Rogers played in the Dragons reserve grade grand final side that lost to Balmain, O'Connor would be the Dragons first choice goal kicker in 1985, kicking 81 goals on his way to 189 points for the season also scoring 6 tries and kicking 3 field goals. O'Connor was part of Street George's 1985 grand final team that lost to Canterbury Bankstown in front of 44,569 at the SCG. O'Connor kicked the only goal for the Dragons, a conversion of a slippery Steve Morris try as they went down in a thriller 6-7. A field goal by Bulldogs winger Andrew Fowler being the difference between the two sides. Representative O'Connor made his representative debut when he was selected for City First for the annual City vs Country game in 1985. After impressing with three goals in his general play in City's 18-12 win over Country First at Newcastle's International Sports Centre, O'Connor was selected to make his State of Origin debut for New South Wales in Game 1 of the 1985 State of Origin series. Heavy rain confronted the players at Lang Park when the teams took the field for the opening match of the series. O'Connor scored two tries and kicking five goals to finish with all of 18 of the Blues points. A week before he was selected for NSW for the first time, O'Connor was hit in an accidental high tackle from Canterbury Banks and Steve Mortimer in a club match at Belmore, leaving him with a broken nose and contributing to his nickname of Snows. The Bulldogs halfback was cited over the incident, but received support from O'Connor at the late judiciary when he concurred with Mortimer's explanation that his arm had come out from off the ball when he made the tackle and that there was no intent of a high shot. During Game 2 of the 1985 State of Origin series at the Sydney Cricket Ground, O'Connor kicked four goals and his only field goal in Origin football is NSW 121-14 in front of the then biggest crowd in Origin history of 39,068 fans. Following his performances for NSW in the first two games of the 1985 Origin series, O'Connor was selected for the mid-season tour of New Zealand. Though he didn't play in a test match, he did play in the minor games of the short tour. Controversy reigned in early 1987 following the release of a biography of Australian and Queensland captain Wally Lewis titled King Wally when 1985 NSW and Australian coach Terry Finley had been quoted as allegedly saying about O'Connor during the 1985 Tour Campe, no hot, lucky he can kick goals or he wouldn't be here. O'Connor's international rugby league debut in the first test of the mid-season Trans-Tasman series against New Zealand on 6 July 1986 at Auckland's Coral Park saw him become Australia's 37th dual code rugby international following Ray Price and preceding Ricky Stewart. Playing on the Snows kicked three goals in a 22-8 Australian win. He then went on to kick four goals as Australia wrapped up the two-match series 2-0 with a 29-12 win at the SCG. With his natural pace and great sidestep, many of his international rugby league appearances were on the wing. Such was the depth of Australia's three-quarter talent with players like G. Miles, Brett Kenny, Mal Meninga, Dale Shearer, Tori Curry, Andrew Adinchelson and Mark McGaw available to the selectors during his era, though he did play most of his state of origin career in his preferred centre position. O'Connor was a selection for the 1986 Kangaroo Tour and played in all six tests on tour, including the pre-tour test against Papua New Guinea in Port Moresby, where he scored 22 points from two tries and seven goals in a 62-12 win. He was the leading point scorer on tour for the Kangaroos with 170 from 13 tries and 59 goals from his 14 games played. O'Connor scored a personal tally of 44 points in the Fusio Ashes series victory over Great Britain, including 22 in a first test at Old Trafford where he scored three tries and kicked 5-9 goals in tricky conditions.
He then played the final two tests on tour against the hapless French side, scoring 20 points, three tries, four goals in a 44 minutes two first test win at Papuan and 16 points, one try, six goals in a 52-0 second test win at Coxon. Manly Waring in 1987 minutes 92. Before the end of the 1986 NSWRL season, O'Connor signed with the Bob Fulton coach Manly Waring Club. O'Connor started playing for Manly from 1987 and started in their 18 minutes 8 1987 NSWRL season's grand final win over the Canberra Raiders. O'Connor scored 14 of Manly's 18 points with a try in the second half and a perfect 5 slash 5 goal kicking. Following the 1987 grand final victory, he travelled with the champion Manly side to England for the 1987 World Cup Challenge against the 1986-87 RFL champions, Wigan at their home ground, Central Park. In front of 36,895, Wigan won an ultimately try less game week 2, with Manly's only points coming from a penalty goal from a corner. Despite being Manly's first choice kicker for the grand final, O'Connor generally shared the kicking duties with Mal Cochrane and only scored 129 points for the season in 21 games. Cochrane scored 138 from 25 games. At the end of the 1992 Winfield Cup season, as captain of Miami, O'Connor announced his retirement from playing. O'Connor was rated the 50th best Australian rugby league footballer of all time in a rugby league week special in 1992. Representative During 1987, O'Connor played both in the centres and on the wing for New South Wales in their 2-1 State of Origin series loss to Queensland where he scored two tries and kicked five goals for the series. He was then selected to play on the win in Australia's 13-6 loss to New Zealand in the one-off test at Land Park. In 1987, there was a fourth exhibition State of Origin game played in August. This game was played in Long Beach, California at the Veterans Memorial Stadium. Playing in the centres, O'Connor scored one try and kicked five goals for the Blues who won convincingly 30-10. O'Connor scored tries in all three matches of the 1988 State of Origin series, which Queensland won 3-0 for the first time, despite two of the three games being played in Sydney. On 20 July 1988, O'Connor played on the wing for Australia in their record 62-point win over Papua New Guinea, scoring four tries and kicking seven goals to set a new record for most points scored by an individual in International Rugby League. Of his 18 tests, O'Connor only played three games at centre, all three during the 1988 Ashes series against the Great Britain Lions following the international retirement of Kenny and the unavailability of both Miles and Meninga with injury. He was then chosen as centre for the Ashes series against the touring Great Britain side, the Australians winning the series 2-1. Following the end of the 1988 season in which Manly were bundled out in the semi-finals, O'Connor and Dale Shearer were the only Manly players chosen for Australia's World Cup final team to play in New Zealand at Eden Park in Auckland. O'Connor playing on the wing kick 4-7 goals as Australia won 25 minutes 12 to win their fifth Rugby League World Cup. During the 1989 NSWRL season, O'Connor was selected for Game 3 of the 1989 State of Origin series, which saw QLD record a second straight 3-0 series win and eighth straight game win in a row, with a 36-16 win at Lime Park. Following this, he was selected for Australia's mid-season tour of New Zealand where he played in all three trans-Tasman tests against the Kiwis as the Bob Fulton coach also won fee zero. O'Connor's last test for Australia was in 1990. Playing on the wing on a freezing night at the Penny Oval in Parks NSW, O'Connor as did the other Australian goal kickers used captain Mal Meninga, and on debut Laurie Daly and former Manly teammate Dale Shearer, had an off-night with the boot, missing all three of his conversion attempts. Injury then ruled him out of the test against New Zealand in Wellington two months later. Following the 1990 NSWRL season, in which he had taken over the captaincy of the Sea Eagles following Paul Fulton's move to eastern suburbs, O'Connor ruled himself out of contention for the 1990 Kangaroo Tour because of a recurring hamstring injury. O'Connor is remembered in state of origin for call for a sideline conversion for NSW in teaming rain only minutes out from the final siren to win the second game of the 1991 state of origin series 14-12 win over QLD at the Sydney Football Stadium. Despite no longer being the regular kicker for Manny due to the signing of goal-kicking former All Blacks fullback Matthew Ridge, and despite the presence in the NSW team of regular club kickers Greg Alexander, Pimrith and Rod Wishaw de Laura, Blues coach Tim Sheens gave the kicking duties to O'Connor for the series and his lack of match kicking practice showed, kicking only 3-9 for the series, all three goals coming in Game 2 in Sydney. The 1991 Origin series was the last time Michael O'Connor represented NSW. During the third and final game of the 1991 State of Origin series, O'Connor was hit in a high tackle from Queensland centre Mal Manning in the sixth minute, leaving him with a broken nose and two black eyes. Despite the riot act being read to both teams after a fiery game two, the NSWRL failed to cite Meninga for the incident and O'Connor was forced to accept an apology from him at the time Meninga was the reigning Australian captain and there was the Trans-Tasman series against New Zealand starting a month later. St Helens O'Connor and Manly captain Paul Vorden travelled to England to play for the Alex Murphy coach Street Helens for a short spell during 1988-89 but his performances were largely disappointing, culminating in the side's 27-0 1989 Challenge Cup final defeat at Wembley Stadium against Wigan. It was the first time in cup final history that a team had been held scoreless. O'Connor took Dave Tanner's place from the side that had played in the 16-14 semi-final victory over Whitney's. Post-playing career O'Connor served as head coach of the Australian Men Rugby Sevens team from 2008 to 2014. He coached the team to a silver medal at the Rugby Sevens at the 2010 Commonwealth Games.